Okay, just a little bit ago, we tried a, a battery, a nine volt battery and uh, steel wool. And I think we had too much steel wool. Uh, it was making too much of a, a conduit for the electricity and wouldn't burn the steel wool. So this is kind of my trick, my, what I do. Um, you gotta have your little kindling ready to go because it's not gonna be a great big fire. Um, I start the, start your uh, fire in a tuna fish can if you're out in the boonies. Maybe there's some snow on the ground, it's a little bit wet, things like that. Tear up some fine kindling. This is kind of a almost a uh, cedar type of bark. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Get that up there. Hey, Cabo, you want to learn how to make fire? Huh? You want to eat grass? You want to make fire? Huh? No, you want to wash my face? Huh? You want to wash my face? Yeah, you're a good dog. All right, so let's prep. Okay, we got our kindling. Take some hand sanitizer. It's got to be the alcohol base hand sanitizer. So we go in here, put about a half a thimble full. You can't see alcohol burn, and we don't want to let it evaporate too much. So let's get our spark. Oops, I went too fast. Should still have burn. Damn, there is some <laughs> hot. <laughs> it's uh, a lot hotter in there than it looks. Cabo, you want to play? Okay, there's the fire. A little bit of hand sanitizer, a little bit of dry kindling, a spark. Be patient. It's a very small fire. But you know what? The end result is pretty much always the same. If you do it right, be patient. You got a fire. Sharpen spark, hand sanitizer. Cook your trout. This Brad, you take care. You stay orange out there.